We're at Ashwaubenon High School where tonight Sheboygan North will take on De Pere in a WIAA sectional semifinal game. Hello everybody, my name is Mike Martin. Joining me is the coach Chris Wright. Uh, Chris, the winner of this game, uh, gets to go on and probably play Germantown, who's undefeated this year. They play Arrowhead tonight. Uh, let's talk about the last couple years with North and De Pere. Last year we had the game at North when they should have beat De Pere. They lost, I believe it was in double overtime. And then they wound up losing again and again in sectional play right where we are. Now this year they lost two games already. None of them, neither of them really very close. And they still wind up with a uh, 20 and four record and they played De Pere again. Yeah, deja vu all over again. Sweet 16 right back in the same place. So we got better seats this time, Marty. We're in the front row as opposed to last year up there. Only difference compared to last year, last year you had to go up to Mayport and beat them. This year you got the game at home and you beat them. So maybe that's something to make different. But the one thing that is the common factor to appear is big, big, and bigger. You're right, Marty. They lost one game by 15 and one by 17. But my thing is I was thinking about, I told Dominic Mon, you don't have to beat these guys 100 times in a row. You only got to beat them once. Now, one of the things that Desso said in the paper, and he also mentioned it, it to me uh, the other night when we were over there covering the Bayport game, is we got a tough time matching up, and you alluded to it with uh, the height disadvantage for North. Yeah, that they just, every one of their players is taller than ours. And again, I'm going over my stats, I'm looking at sides and saying, you know, North's got a chance of been playing better, maybe. maybe and then you look at the size of these guys from the beer, and it's like, oh my gosh, everyone is bigger and better. So. You just gotta have, it's gotta be with the heart. Your heart's gotta be bigger. You gotta box out, do the little things. You gotta have the, the breaks and things fall your way and you can upset these guys. One of the things that I remember last year when we were covering the game is North stayed with them pretty good and then they got down uh, early in the third quarter by about 10 or 12 points. And at that point, the pier just changed. They were a different team. They stopped running and they just run the clock on you. That was exactly what happened last year. It was just a run, a run late in that second quarter. I think you're right. And I mean, it just, after that, the game was not even close. And kind of the same thing this year. I was kind of looking at quarter by quarter situations, and I noticed that the game was real for close in the first quarter. But in the second quarter, they, they kind of got out to that 10 point lead. And then, then next thing you know, it was a bigger lead again in the third quarter. And by that time, it was all lights out. So, what you want to do with under two minutes left in the game is you want to be in a position to win the basketball game. And I think that's what you're alluding to. Exactly. Stay close so you have a chance at the end. Obviously, the best thing would be to uh, have the leader, you know, not more than like a one or two point uh, disadvantage. It looks like the key guy for North to have to stop is Brevin Pritzel. He's averaging 17.1 points per game, and he's a big guy. Yeah, he's <laughs> he's big. I was looking at these guys. They're six, and he's a sophomore too. And then they go six six, and they go six five, and. You know, you're just going to have to play that good defense. I mean, I watched the defense a lot the other night, and I just noticed how you had the weak side help and, and things like that. you got to hope that that's what's going to happen here, is you're going to get a lot of help from a lot of different people. I'm also hoping, obviously, you know, Ethan Gutsky's got to have a good game, but who else? Who else is going to have that big game? Is it going to be Stengel? Is it going to be Campion? Is it going to be Larson? Somebody's going to have to get 16 to 20 points that you're, you know, it's just going to have to have a massive game beside Ethan because, you know what? Big teams really shut down players. We saw them do this against Devin Yurk. I mean, they've done this against Ethan Gusky. You know, so somebody else is going to have to contribute and have a, a good night shooting. One of the things that I thought hurt North defensively against Bayport was they took a lot of chances on steals. And what that creates then is a number advantage for the offense. I think they got to be real careful tonight about doing that. Yeah, especially with the size of these guys because you're going to get bounce passes for easy layups tonight as opposed to Bayport. You sized up a little bit better against them, but I think that's a really good point. You know, if you're going to gamble, you better get a deflection at least on there, get a hand on the ball because otherwise you're just going to give up easy baskets. Sorry for pulling the mic away. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> I was just looking at my stats and uh, the pure averages only 67 points a game but I think part of that's a product is when they get the lead then they tend to pull back. Yeah well I was thinking the same thing I was thinking you know, one thing you always say pace North always wants to play fast pace I think is going to be about even tonight North's averaging 69 to Pierce 67 so I don't think it's going to be a pace situation for one team or the other neither I think both teams like to score a lot of points and they do and uh, 
DePierre comes in averaging about 18 points a game over their opponents and things. Now, they did lose to a Pulaski team this year who did like to slow it down a little bit, but I don't think you're going to see that from Sheboygan North tonight. But uh, who knows what Coach Chesatel has his sleeve. But we do know one thing between him and Coach Worth and uh, Coach Davis and uh, Coach Utech, they are prepared. I mean, they got these boys prepared for this game. They scouted them out. They're ready to go. Let's just hope they have a good game. All right, with that, uh, we got a little... Uh Shout out we want to do. We want to thank uh, St. Paul, uh, St. Luke's uh, United Methodist Church for their donation to help support WSCS tonight in uh, this tournament game. And if there's any other people out there that want to sponsor us, uh, we're more than welcome to accept that. Uh, St. Luke's service can be uh, seen every Sunday morning at 10 o'clock on WSCS. We're going to step out and we come back. We'll have the uh, starting lineups and the tip off for tonight's game. If I ride, I will know the way the trees smell after the rain. I will grow a heart so strong that hospitals will take Tuesdays off. If I ride, road rage will turn into laughter. And oil tankers will haul chocolate milk. And I won't be a boy or a girl. I will just be a rider. all the difference. Every day, thousands of people suffer from sudden cardiac arrest. Would you know how to help? Or would they be all alone? Learn what to do at heartrescuenow.com. He serves his party best who serves the country best, Rutherford B. Hayes. Patriotism is easy to understand in America. It means looking out for yourself by looking out for your country. Calvin Coolidge. Government is a people's business, and every man, woman, and child becomes a shareholder with the first penny of tax paid. Ronald Reagan. There's nothing wrong in America that can't be fixed of what is right in America. William Clinton. Be the we now. Are you connected? If you don't have access to internet, you aren't going to be able to take advantage of anything. The internet is essential to the basics in life, housing, health care, employment. I personally benefited from broadband because I was able to fill out different applications and I'm pretty positive that I'll get another job. To get connected, call 866-765-9118 or visit changeyourtomorrow.org. If everyone had access to the internet, people's lives would be changed. Connect today. Change your tomorrow. The curfew you have imposed on me is an egregious infringement upon my social well-being and freedom. Speaking of freedom, it is preposterous to suggest that I have my homework done before playing video games. I know my rights. You can't tell me what to do. Mom, Dad, you have 30 seconds for a response. Does every conversation with your teen turn into a debate? Call the Boystown National Hotline at 800-448-3000 or visit parenting.org. Trained counselors are on call 24-7 to help with parenting problems. Fox River Classic Conference. 
Hello, 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 hello. Testing one, two, three, you're so that we can enjoy the privilege of educational athletics. Please remove your hats and everyone be good sports by showing respect for the game, each other, and our country by proudly singing our national anthem performed by the DePier High School. Twenty-five, Caden Coleman. Spencer Mulkarski is number uh, thirty-two. Number thirty-five is Cooper Markowski. He's six-five. Uh, we missed Adam Byer, number two. He's a six-six guard. And then rounding out the starting lineup is uh, sophomore Brevin Pritzel, uh, six-three forward. Brian Winchester is the uh, coach for uh, De Pere. He's in his sixth season. Uh, they come into tonight's game 21 and three. Ethan Gusky, guard, senior. Dan Campion, guard, senior. Davis Larson, forward, freshman. Kevin Lang, guard, senior. Dominic Mann, and a senior, and a forward. North, of course, is coached by uh, Tom Desitel in his 36th year. Uh, Gusky comes in averaging uh, 22.7 points per game. Larson averaging 13.1 and Campion 10.1. Uh, three guys in double figures. A pretty good balance by uh, DePure also, Chris. Yes. Larson for North and uh, Coleman for uh, De Pere, both uh, wearing number 25. Our officials tonight are uh, Bill Rush Rushbolt, Pat Shrimperly, and uh, Todd Bovine. Ball's tipped out of bounds. Can you give it to uh, North? We're having some mic issues. Uh, Chris uh, is lending me his. It's the one that works. And, uh, once in a while, I'll share share his with him. The pure in a man-to-man defense. 
North running a bit of a weave. The pure liking to uh, switch on some of that. Shot is up, no good. Rebound is uh, by number 35, Mokarski, Cooper. North running some uh, good cuts on that first possession, but uh, they didn't get anything out of it. North and Amanda Man also. Shot is off, no good. The putback is also no good. And the putback is also no good. We're sitting at nothing to nothing. A lot of pushing going out there, Chris, and a lot of reaching. <laughs> Leap and leaner by Gusky is no good. Lang with the rebound, put back, and he's fouled. Ball goes on Coleman. Well, size, is just, size is just amazing for De Pere, Marty. And not only the size, but I also feel like they're doing some shoving inside. <laughs> Lang makes the first of two. You don't have to worry, it doesn't work anyway. <laughs> cough, cough by Chris. Two to nothing, Raiders. up jumper in the lane and it's no good. Well, North has to do a better job of uh, blocking out or letting them get way too many rebounds, even if they are tall or nobody's putting the body on anyone. Spencer Mokarski tossing it in. Long three attempt is, uh, bounces around and in for Adam Beyer. Beyer. Three to two, De Pere. I think they're gonna get it on uh, number two, Adam Beyer. Trying to run right over uh, Dominic Mann. Champion has it in the backcourt being guarded by uh, Bayer. There's a severe height dis disadvantage for North. 6'6", six, six, Bayer against uh, 5'10". Shot in the lane by Gusky, bounces around and through. Four to three North, and the ball tipped out of bounds. What are you thinking so far, Chris? Well, they got a board. You're right, Marty. I think you hit it right on the head. They got, they're getting too many second chances, but so far, so good. Three-pointer is up and good. That one was by Pritzel. Six to four to Pierre. A little bit of a hold over in the corner, Chris, on uh, Spencer Mokarski. He's guarding uh, Gusky. North getting set up. They were a little uh, discombobbled. Larson almost lost it. Leans in. Shot is up and in by Davis Larson. Under pressure, but he put it in. Spencer Mokarski with that last basket. Eight to six. Campion looking, couldn't find anybody. Gets it over to Lang, he drives through. Shot is blocked, but they're gonna call a foul. That's gonna go on Caden Coleman, that'll be his second. 
Well, they got to stay patient, North. They are grabbing Gusky. I think you hit that one on the head, Murray. But North just got to stay patient and hang back. I don't like that transition basket they just gave up, though. They got to get back on D. That's way too easy. I do think the uh, way they're calling the game tonight is a lot different than the Bayport game. Yeah, they're, well, I don't <laughs> Those are some pretty cheap balls on the pier, but uh, we're not going to argue with them. <laughs> The problem is the obvious ones are not calling. Lang is four for four and ties the game at eight. 4.22 left, 4.22 left in the uh, first quarter. Drive down the lane is off, no good. Larson rips it away. And under pressure, got fouled, no call, but strong enough to hang on to the ball. Good job by uh, Davis. And they're going to get him with a double dribble. He needs to slow down a little bit. He's uh, getting a little out of control. Freshman. Stengel, uh, getting, Stengel getting ready to check in. Dominic Mon out. Stengel has pretty good ups. Hopefully that'll help North in the rebounding department. Fire. Shot rolls in and he's fouled. Ball goes on Gusky. Planker, but it goes in. It's 11 to 8 to Pierre. And uh, trying to put it up and in. No foul called. Brett Marshall looked like he had an arm, but they got uh, Stengel with a travel. Just going to say, this is what we thought about tournament play. They let them play, Marty, and they are really physical. Here, content to run uh, run clock, dump it inside to Bayer. His shot off the glass is no good, and going right over the top for the rebound was uh, Mitch Winter. No call, and the ball gets tipped out of bounds by North. Lucas Hayes getting ready to check in. Good power move, but uh, not getting it in was Adam Beyer. Eleven to eight to Pierre. Just under three minutes left. Good help defense by De Pierre. and they're not calling much. You're right; they're letting them scrap in there. Why? Well, that's. That should be a foul normally, but this is tournament action. This is what you're going to get. It'll go both ways, and that's a disadvantage to North. Ace from outside the line, couldn't get it in. And then DePier lost it. It's a saying it, they say it went off of Stengel's foot. DePier will have it, and they've got a three-point lead. It's the subtle things, Chris, that uh, make a big difference on defense, you know, with, with the hand check here and there, and, you know, those kinds of things prevents the offense from getting any leverage. Yeah, and it's, you know, they're just banging. You can see them slapping them all over the place, but they're not going to call it. I don't understand why all the time. The pier again, very patient. That one went off of a buyer, and they're going to give it to North. Evan Newhouse, number 15 in for uh, the pier. Hayes, Mon, Campion, Gusky, and Lang in for the Raiders. Jared Paris getting ready to check in. He was going to check in with you, Chris. Gusky couldn't get it. 
going high for the rebound but couldn't pull it down. Campion right on the shooter who nails it. Brevin Pritzel with a three under pressure. Fourteen to eight. That time they got a hand check. Jason Bloom, Blom, pardon me. Reese and Larson come in. 149 left in the first quarter. It's 14 to 8 to Pierre. A lot of bumping and banging. Now they're going to get Gusky with an offensive foul, and that's his second. That one hurts. Coming in is uh, Nick Rudall. Newhouse has it on top, gives it up to Blom. Long three pointer by Pritzel is no good. And again, no block out inside. And DePierre comes, comes away with a tie up. Brett Marshall, number 22, tying up Larson for the ball. You need to get a body on people, Chris. Yeah, that, well, you're stating the obvious, Marty, but it's just so difficult. They're so big, and the officials are letting them play. And it's not an advantage for North. They're just not big enough and strong enough. Spencer Mokarski came in the ball game. Shot is up and in, that one by uh, Cooper Mar Markowski. Kapir is doubled up on the Raiders. Rolling down to a minute left. Time out by Sheboygan North with 101 remaining. It's a 30 second timeout, so we'll keep it here. Uh, Chris, what are you seeing? Well, I don't think I'd want to keep Ethan Gusky out very long. You're down 14, to, or excuse me, 16 to eight. You have the ball now on the offensive end, you know, and what they basically did is they frustrated Ethan and he pushed off and it got him a second foul there. But when you're down, you need your offense out there. You can't let him sit on the bench and get away, especially late here. I agree with you there. Pretty early to be offense and defense substitutions, but uh, what the heck, whatever it takes. The Piers run off eight straight points. Campion has it on top. He's being guarded by Mitch Winter. Champion faking the three, being guarded by Pritzel. I'll tell you, they got quick feet too, Chris. I mean, we can talk about the hand checks on the drive, but they're, they have quick feet. They get right up in your grill. They're not afraid to play real tough defense. Almost stolen away by Pritzel Larson. Leaning, no foul. Eight seconds left. Pritzel from way outside, nails another three. And that's the end of one quarter of play. What are you gonna do about that, Chris? <laughs> I don't know. It's you know, I don't mind a physical play when you have the two hand shivers on the guy, you gotta call a foul and they're not giving it to him. All right, with that, we're gonna take a short break. We'll be right back. My diabetes tests me every day. 
It tests my parents, my friends, my gymnastics practice. But JDRF has my back. They're working hard to find a cure for type 1 diabetes, which for me would mean freedom. And they help me now with better treatments and new devices that make my life easier. The folks at JDRF test themselves every day. So someday, I won't have to. JDRF, improving lives, curing type 1 diabetes. Come on, let's go. Hey. Hey, hi, what's your name? You live around here? You're pretty. W where are you guys going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you it's about time to get you fixed, sweetie. Your pets will start getting noticed sooner right, than go. you think. Accidental litters lead to millions killed in shelters each year. Help prevent more. Fix at month four. Boy, oh boy, a lot of contact again not called. The pure really playing physical on defense, and if, if they're not going to call it, you might as well keep it up. Yeah, exactly. We're still having mic problems, and it's not Mike Martin either, unfortunately. We can fix that. Pritzel, Leap and Leaner, and Laney had nine first quarter points to lead all scorers. Gusky has uh, five points. Lang had, uh, or Lang had four. Gusky had three. Campion trying to cross over dribble, but uh, he can't get around Adam Beyer. Gusky still out of the game with his uh, two fouls. Kick out to Lang. He's open for a second, couldn't get it. Didn't even draw a rim. Marshall with the board. Bayer right down the lane, dishes it off. Tap is no good and goes off of uh, the pure player. North will get it. I think that was off of uh, Brett Marshall. Gusky just checked in. Every once in a while you hear the fans say boring, boring, but it's because North can't get a shot off. They don't want to be this patient, but uh, it's just the way it is. It's 19 to eight. A minute and a half into the second quarter. Fire with the live hands trying to strip the ball away. Oh, grab from behind. Actually grabbed his jersey. Spencer Mokarski is going to pick up the foul. Watch it right here as he comes around. Watch him grab the back. Right there. Good replay, Scott. And uh, Gusky's got blood on his shirt. I'm going to give him a minute or two to uh, try and rectify that. Maybe not. Paris coming in. Chris Lenz doing the uh, first aid duty here tonight for the Raiders. Campion trying to throw it off the back of a DePure player, but uh, he's not able to come up with it. Redbirds have it. Bayer on the push right down the lane. Layup not good. Paris with the rebound. Champion left open for a second. He nails a three. 19 to 11. North needs another stop.
Good defense by Paris. And then uh, throwing it out of bounds was Spencer Mokarski trying to get it into uh, Bayer. Bayer thinking he got held. Of course, we didn't see it, did we? What's that? I. <laughs> that he, Adam Bayer thought he got held on the lob pass. Well, there's a lot of bumping on it. What are you going to complain about? If you're going to give it out, you better expect to receive it a little bit. Paris with a three. North has got a couple. It's 19 to 14. North trying to come back. And a shot and a score by uh, Pritzel. And he's going to have a chance at a three-point play. Paris committing to foul. Their team foul. Coach Desatel yelling at him for uh, to call it both ways. We couldn't agree more. Pritzel has 11, had three three-point baskets in the first quarter, looking for the old-fashioned three-point play right here. And he gets it. 22 to 14, rolling down to the five-minute mark left until halftime. Campion left open, fires up a three, no good. Rebound to Pritzel. Fire, kick out. Wide open shot by Spencer Mokarski is good. Twenty-five to fourteen, back to an eleven-point lead. That's the largest lead for De Pierre so far. Larson loading it up from three-point land, couldn't get it. Grabbing the rebound was Cooper Mokarski. Fire looking inside, nothing doing there. Pritzel with a three, couldn't get it. Larson with the rebound. DePierre doing a great job of getting back on the north fast break. A good step out defense by Bayer to keep uh, Larson from getting in the lane. Under four minutes left in the quarter. What are you seeing out there, Chris? Well, we just got to make some shots. You're going to have to shoot like 60%. There's no question about that. And uh, I think you hit it on the head. It's very difficult to penetrate these guys. It's just a size thing. You just got to be quicker. And, you know, with Ethan Gusky on the bench, somebody's got to step up. Campion with a good fake, but he wasn't able to get anything out of it. Larson kicks it out to Lar uh, Lang. Nothing doing there. North trying to penetrate. And then Larson with a jump shot in the lane gets fouled. By Cooper Markowski. Davis Larson will be at the line shooting a pair. Jake Newville and uh, Mitch Winter getting ready to check in. Larson will be shooting a pair. Reminds me, you got to make all your free throws too. Well, you got you got to make your shots. You missed a couple free throws down the stretch, and uh, they're red hot from three point. They're five of seven from three too. So everything that they're doing is exactly what Tapir wants. Larson gets the uh, second. Gusky coming back in. North got a quick six points to start the second quarter, but uh, they've been silent since then till that free throw. Newhouse uh, getting it over to Pritzel. North in a zone right now. Pritzel, high arching shot is no good. Newhouse not blocked out. Gusky strips it away from him. And Gusky takes it to the hole and scores. Surprised he didn't get Newhouse with a foul. He was leaning on him, but uh, Gusky uh, was able to keep his balance and get the shot up and in. Good 
Jump shot by uh, Mokarski is uh, no good, and Newhouse comes away with it. Pritzel, no good. Again, no block out. Nobody's getting Newhouse. He's just running around wherever he wants to go. Mon had a shot block, gets it back, puts it up again, can't get it. And coming away with the board was Cooper Mar Markowski. Timeout to Pierre with uh, 158 remaining in the first half. It's 25 to Pierre, 17 north. It's a 30 second timeout, so we better keep it here. Well, Ethan Guske, I was thinking a little bit about Ethan Air just hammering the kid. I mean, they're grabbing him, they're pushing him, they're strapping. I mean, it's what's going to be like in college. I think it's a big introduction to that, but it's a tough night for Ethan. Somehow, someway, he's got to get on track. He's got two buckets tonight, he's two for four. We need him to get about 20 shots. I was just thinking, you know, we were talking about the way the game was officiated the other night and they needed to call more. They need to call a, or call less the other night. They need to call a whole lot more tonight. Well, as I mentioned before, I just, I don't mind the physical play under the basket, but on a pure shot, you get fouled. And I don't like the two-hand shoves out on the point guard. You watch how Pritzel guards Campion and stuff like that. He just, two-hand shivers. I mean, that's just... No, I don't mind you like giving a little space, but when you got your hands pushing out, that should be a automatic foul. They're not only bigger and stronger when they push, we go further. Open for the three and nailing it was Spencer Morkowski. You got to get on him. Another three for uh, De Pierre, 28 to 17. Davis Larson. Rolling down to a minute left until halftime. Shot from the corner is off, no good. Bayer got the rebound right in front of the basket, put it up and in, that was an easy two. 30 to 19. Larson being shoved again, finally they call something. You're gonna give them two shots, no complaint there, it's, you know, we're gonna complain anyway, it was a late call. Well, that was again, uh, Larson had to do the drawing of the foul there that time. One important stat, I have nine offensive rebounds on a fist right now for the beer, and that's way too many. Larson puts that first free throw in. Well, they definitely need to do a better job of uh, blocking out because they've uh, done very little of that. You can complain about the height all you want, but you still got to block out. Rolling down to 40 seconds left in the half. It's 30 to 20 to Pierre. It was tied up 8 to 8 in the first quarter, and the quarter ended with an 11 point run by De Pierre, with, and then they were leading 19 to 8 after one. North has hung with them in the second quarter, but they haven't gained any ground. At least not enough. The Pierre playing for one. There's uh, 15 seconds left. North in a zone. Almost stolen away. And then he gets it back and puts it up. And they stop the clock on a foul. Paul is going to go on Stengel. Boy, I didn't see that, Chris. I saw the basket. I didn't see the fall. Campion was just that far away from uh, making the steal or at least tipping it away. But uh, wasn't to be, and now DePier has their largest lead at 13. Getting away. It's just getting away, just like last year. Shot at the buzzer is no good, and we're at halftime with the pure leading 33 to 20. Oh, 
dude, I did the most shocking thing today. It was just something I never thought I'd do. Did your parents find out? My mom cried. What'd you do? You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who would love to put up with you.
I'm Sandra Fry. I'm a union bus driver, and I'm also a mom. During 17 years with Greyhound, I've covered over 2 million miles. My job is to safely bring families together. I love the open road, but I never forget that a drowsy or careless driver could be right around the next curve. Drunk driving is the deadliest of all. As a mom and as a bus driver, I have a message for you. If you drink, don't drive. When you're behind the wheel, always watch for people walking and biking. It's Wisconsin law to give bikes at least three feet when passing. In Wisconsin, the laws are the same for bicyclists and motorists. So if you bike, ride with the traffic and obey stop signs and lights. People ride bicycles to go places, get exercise, reduce pollution, save money, and have fun. Watch for people riding bikes when you're driving. Share and be aware. We're all responsible. They fought for social change. They fought against tyrants. They fought for human rights. Yet behind these achievements are individuals who waged a more personal war. They fought the struggle against mental illness. And they won. Robinon High School, where uh, De Pere has taken a 33 to 20 lead from halftime scoring for De Pere. Bayer had 11. Spencer Makarski had eight. Cooper Markowski had two, and Brevin Pitzel had 12. For the Raiders, Gusky four, Campion three, Paris three. Davis Larson had six, and Kevin Lang with four free throws. And we're off and running here in the second half. North is going to have to do a better job of rebounding if they want to get back in the game. Starting lineups for both teams are back in. Drive down the lane is no good. The putback is no good. Missing those two shots was uh, Caden Coleman. North comes away with the rebound. Larson to the hole, couldn't get it. Markowski out to Pritzel, lays it up and in. Too easy. They're just real fast, Marty. Very. Now we mentioned about them moving their feet well, uh, not only on defense, but also running down the floor. Now I don't mind that defense there by Bayer. I don't mind him with the body there, but no two-hand shivers. Mon had an open shot off a nice pass from Lang, but couldn't get it in. Bayer gets around Gusky, kicks it over to Coleman. His shot is no good. Coleman over the back twice and no call. You know, it's bad enough when they're taller than you, and then you let them go over the back to tip the ball. Got to call something. Champion looking for an opening. Laying in an opening, but didn't shoot the long three. Look at the hands by Pritzel. Two hands and an elbow. A little easier to see this half on the defense of the pier because they're right in front of us. And they're gonna get a five second call. Paris in the game. North now six of 18 shooting. Spencer Mokarski right in front of us, uh, tossing it in. 12 30. to 34 for uh, the pier. Coleman throwing a good screen out on top and then posting inside but didn't get the ball. 
Lucas Hayes on him, that's a good matchup. Hayes trying for the steal, couldn't get it. Markowski shot from the lane is good. Paris has it on top, gives it off to Larson. Spin move, Larson's shot was blocked. And then it goes off of Davis Larson's foot and the Bears gonna have it back. You know, you talked about breaks. That's the kind of thing you gotta get. Well, he's being bumped, bumped, bumped and then uh, goes off his foot and... That's why basketball is for big people. <laughs> this is a big, <laughs> tall team. And uh, they yeah, played Germantown. It was more fun for me when I was in eighth grade and bigger than everybody. <laughs> Fire has it on top, guarded by Gusky. Marshall throwing the screen. Inside, Coleman throws it up and it goes in. Check that, Mokarski. Timeout North, 447 left, it's 39 to 20. The Pier having it all their way. It's a full timeout, Scott. We can take a break. In an instant, everything we know can be taken away. I'm John LaRoquette, and as an actor, I've made a career on TV and performing on the Broadway stage. But is that what matters most? If I was suddenly disabled and couldn't take steps, couldn't I still act? Only abilities matter. Visit Kessler Foundation on Facebook and tell us your abilities, and go to KesslerFoundation.org where only abilities matter. Back at Ashwaubenon on High School, just talking to the uh, North scorer. What do you want to talk about? Now he's backing off. He's, he was great during the commercial. Now he doesn't want to say anything. And the bus driver. And the bus driver. Yep. Bookkeeper. Making a good shot of the uh, North High contingent. He brought a lot of fans up. Unfortunately, they're not seeing a real good game. 4.47 left in the third quarter. It's 39 to 20. The pier on top. Wow. Larson's shot is up and in, and he's fouled. Call it right away. You know what was happening. Why don't you call it? And was on his back. Brett Marshall picking up the foul. For Marshall, that's his first, first team foul. Lang was perfect from the line in the first half. He had four points. Now has seven points. 39-23. Gusky on Bayer. Got to call and it. They're going to call a foul on uh, Gusky. Got to call it. I mean, he let him get away with four bumps, and, and the obvious. I mean, what do you want? You got to call it. You know, and Ethan, I know you're getting bumped all day, but that's two fouls out of frustration. Yeah, especially at, uh, I think it was his second foul, yep. the offensive one. You know, it's one of those things, yeah, I'm getting it, so we give it back, but I just think he took it a little bit too far. Oh, boy. Wide open. Scoring was uh, number five, Cooper Markowski. He's got the last two baskets for DePier. Paris not being able to find an opening. Cameron kicks it out to Lang. It's uh, hard to get a shot off against the player. Can't be looking. Eli Belmore at the table getting ready to check in. A uh, good double team by DePierre that time. Pretzel, Marshall, he's fouled. He'll be shooting a pair. Ball's gonna go on uh, Kevin Lang. Oh, 
Marshall knocks home a free throw. Belmore Gusky on in for uh, North. Marshall with a pair makes it 43 to 23. And new Marshall jumping out. Not a bad defensive move, but he did pick up the foul. That's how I would play Ethan Gusky if I was playing against him. I would jump and run at him all over the place. And uh, Tapir is one of the best that does it. I saw Pulaski do a nice job on uh, them as well. And I didn't see the Ashwaubenon game, but it might have been the same situation. Champion has it on top. 3.35 left in the third quarter. North down by 20. Gusky from way outside, couldn't get it in. And ball gets tipped away. The pier comes away with it. Getting that offense or that defensive rebound was Jason Blom. Cooper Markowski. Now well, Newhouse has it on top. The pier very patient, looking for the opening. Shot is up and good by Spencer Mor Morkowski. Largest deficit for North tonight. They're down 22. Campion over to Belmore. Good jump out defense by DePierre. Gusky left open no for way. just a second, but couldn't get it in. Larson, good hustle on the save. Gusky, bango. Gusky finally nailed a three. Three of seven shooting, Marty. Again, patient, stolen. Losing the ball was Cooper Morkowski. Kick inside and man alive. Gusky got fouled hard, did get the pass over to Amon and then Mon got a shove to the back. Marshall picks up his third foul of the quarter. Forty-five twenty-six. Gusky working through a double screen, but uh, Newhouse did a good job of getting through it. Paul Klotz playing a tough defense on Belmore, and then a uh, Campion shot is blocked by uh, Jake Newville. Coach Winchester calls a smart timeout to prevent the 10 second count. It's a 30 second timeout. Chris, uh, North in really tough shape here. Yeah, they are. Uh, the Bears defensively doing everything they're supposed to do and offensively they're getting everything in close to the basket. Seems like they're making layup after layup in the first half. It was three pointer after three pointer where they hit six of 11. Just a tough, tough night for the Raiders. Gusky, the high scoring guard for North, only has seven. There's 126 left in the third quarter. Holtz will uh, throw it in. Yeah, the referee was right next to us when he blew his whistle. <laughs> he wanted to get on TV. Pierre shooting 63% in the quarter. Jump shot by Colts is no good. The pier with the rebound. Shot is up and good. Mitch Winter.
Larson going hard to the basket, but couldn't get it in, but he does draw the foul. Blom with the foul. Larson will be shooting the pair. Davis was uh, two for four in the first half. That one rims out. Let's see if he can uh, get back to 500 on the ball game. North was tied with the pier at eight in the first quarter, and since then it's been all the pier. Well, they had that 11-0 run that you didn't want to happen, Marty. Rainbow three is off. Shot attempt by uh, Colts. Belmore shot is no good, but he does get the rebound. Dusky, pull up jumper, can't get it. And two Redbirds on the ball. Belmore got the rebound, or got the steal. And then what looked like a clean block on Larson is gonna net a foul on Paul Colts. I thought he got it on the body, Marty. Make that new house. Davis Larson right back to the line to shoot a pair. Campion back in for uh, Eli Belt. Got a nice stint out there. There you had it. You're right, he did get him with the body, Chris. Good replay, Scott. Larson with a pair. 47 29, 25 seconds remaining. And they're going to get Campion with a foul. I don't know about you, Chris. I sense that official not being very patient with North. I think if Danny would have acted out, he might have been slapped with a T. Oh, really? It's just me. Oh. But it just seemed like he was looking at him for a long time. Kick up the new house. Pulls it back. There's 15 seconds left in the court. Pier up 47 29. Lucas Hayes get called for the. Good penetration that time by uh, Evan Newhouse to draw the foul. Who else will be shooting a pepper? Five point seven seconds left. Campion comes right back in. Dropping back with him is uh, Mitch Winter. Who else breaks a pair? And Lang's shot is uh, blocked by Blom. We're at the end of three quarters of play to peer up 47-29. You're looking at the number one cause of lung cancer. That's why the Surgeon General issued this warning. Now you're looking at the number one cause of lung cancer for non-smokers. That's why the Surgeon General issued this warning. Radon is an invisible radioactive gas that seeps inside your home from underground. Whether you smoke or not, radon can cause lung cancer. Protect your family. Have your home tested. Call 1-800-SOS-RADON. Radon problems can be fixed. Grandpa, look what I got. Let me see. Oh, Dad, wait till you see the bike we got for Jake. Hearing loss happens gradually with age, making it easy to ignore. Yet most older Americans aren't getting their hearing tested. Untreated hearing loss can keep your loved ones from enjoying what they cherish most. Dad, can you hear me? Don't let that happen. Speak up about hearing loss. You'll be glad you did. Back at Ashwaubenon High School, getting ready to start fourth quarter action. Uh, De Pere is uh, 
taken every quarter so far. That last quarter was uh, 14 to nine in favor of DePier. They lead it 47-29. Gusky. Not able to get much out of that. Adam Beyer on him. Gusky giving it up. Eli uh, Belmore in. Larson going hard to the hoop. Couldn't get it. Does get the rebound though. And Campion throws it away. I don't know if you noticed that time, Chris, on defense, Bayer didn't even bother helping out on anything. He just no. stayed right with Gusky. No, and he just fouled him is what he basically did. Or, you know, two hand shivers again. Cooper Mar Markowski had it. And then uh, Caden Coleman looked like he was out of bounds, but apparently North tipped it out. Stengel in for Larson. I'll tell you, the Raiders are working hard, Chris. They're just uh, having a real hard time with uh, De Pere's defense. Yes. Pritzel's shot is no good. Stengel with the rebound. Again, uh, De Pere getting back on defense. Stengel leaping over the crowd but couldn't get it in. And he fights for the ball and there's a scrum. And over the back is Spencer Markowski, but they're not going to call it. They haven't called those all night. Tom got one right, floor. Marty. Pardon me? Took one right to the head. Oh boy. You see Dominic. Taking a break right now. It's what his head. I don't I mean, know if anybody uh, called a timeout or not. Not that it matters, but uh, you got North a pretty good cut out. on the top of his uh, head. There you see Dominic standing up. And uh, now he's got the, uh, can you run that replay again? Maybe we can see the hit, Scott. I thought he might have got hit on the scrum in the floor. Yep, you could see it underneath the basket. He you got, got it. He got an elbow. He got an elbow. It's Holman or something. It's a 47 29. No, score, no scoring so far here in the fourth quarter after about a minute and a half. And. Uh, North in the huddle right there. There's not a whole lot they can do. De Pere is very good on defense. And uh, there you see uh, Chris Lenz tending to uh, Dominic Mann. Don't worry, Chris, he'll be ready for the baseball season. Well, there you see him working on Dom. North now, eight of 28 shooting, Marty. They are 26%. They uh, have gotten very few open shots. I mean, it doesn't, they, they know about Gusky. They're gonna, they're gonna guard him all over no matter how deep he is. But uh, there were just a couple of open threes. I remember in the first half, I think Campion had one and uh, Paris had one. But other than that, it's been uh, hard to come by an open shot. And there you see Desso over there taking a look at uh, Dominic. Well, they were uh, two of, Gusky was two of four, all from two point range in the first half. I got one, four, three. Three, three attempts. Three of eight shooting in the ball game. That's yeah, not enough shots for him. We want to get him with more shots. Again, normally I would think you'd play on. You know, if the kid got bumped in the head, you're going to take him out and tend to him and uh, play on. It's been an extended break here at Ashwaubenon High School. The winner of this game is going to go on and play the winner of Germantown 24-0 against Arrowhead 20-4. That game is also taking place tonight. Winners of uh, the semifinal games will be played at Homestead on Saturday afternoon. A shout out again to uh, St. Luke's 
Church for their support of tonight's broadcast. Uh, St. Luke's uh, has their service broadcast every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. on uh, WSCS, so you want to view into that. And, uh, again, thank you goes out to St. Luke's, and uh, big shout out to uh, all you other sponsors that want to get involved. You know, we're more than willing to take your support. Uh, Tournament games don't come free. Uh, we have to pay to do each game. And uh, it's always nice to have the support from the community because we are a community-based station, as you know. All right, Dominic uh, is not back in the game. Uh, Chris mentioned he thaw, saw the elbow getting thrown. I don't think it was an intentional kind of thing. Sometimes those things just happen. Uh, but we are uh, on a search and destroy on the floor, Chris, looking for uh, splatters of blood. They come up pretty good when you rub your shoe on them, too. Looking down the bench, and uh, I see Dom sitting there. It's hard to tell, can't quite get the angle that we need to uh, see his forehead. Cooper Morkowski tosses it into uh, Adam Beyer. Beyer, a senior guard. Shot in the lane is no good. Pritzel taps it out to Beyer. He lays it up and in. Dusky got away with a walk there. Step back three. It's no good. Eli Belmore with a good uh, recovery, or a save, I mean, but uh, went right to uh, De Pere. And Bayer with another two. 51-29. Belmore loses it. Picking it up is uh, Spencer Morkowski. He goes right to the rim and lays it in. All to Pierre now. Rolling down to the five minute mark. Kick out. Gusky. Larson inside. The shot is off, no good. Does get the offensive rebound, though. Gusky can't get it to go. And Noah Stengel with a strong rebound couldn't get it in, and then we get a whistle. Caden Coleman picking up his third foul. Stengel will be at the line shooting a pair. Noah with his first points of the night. Stengel knocks in a pair. 53-31. I think that handheld works, Chris. Fire. Nice dish off. And a mini dunk that time by Pritzel. Stengel, uh, pardon me, Davis Larson trying to kick it out to a campion but throws it right away. Bayer with it. He takes a long three and nails it. Adam Bayer, oh my goodness. He's four of four and a half, Marty. 58 to 31. I would uh, get to a point too. They got a bigger game to play on Saturday and getting somebody hurt here.
Newhouse, Winter, and uh, Blom all checking in for uh, the Redbirds. Also checking in Tyrus Polowski. Polacek, pardon me. Danny Campion at the line. Scott Mailoff, our director, Kerry Kautzer on the floor camera, Richard Bartson up on top, Chris Wright doing the color commentary when his mic works, and uh, he's been uh, kind enough to give me his headset on Mike Martin. Good job of handling the press by DePierre. Yeah, and it's all their second stringers, Marty. Yeah. Third stringers. Bangle. Winter with a three. Stengel in. Apparently that last basket was only a two. It looked like a three to me too. Gusky on the line. He only has seven points tonight. They've really shut him down. North has done a good job shooting their free throws this half. <laughs> For whatever that's worth. They're six for six in the uh, fourth quarter and made uh, nine, last nine in a row. 10 of 11 in the half. Newhouse back in the ball game. Three point attempt is in. Wall check. Another country heard from. Yeah, another country heard from. We haven't heard that much this year, Chris, from you. Inside to Dominic. Bond lays it up and in. His first two of the night. They have nine threes tonight, Mark. Wow. Rolling down to the three minute mark. Ball stolen. Gusky lost his balance, and they're going to get a blocking foul on Newhouse. That's a tough break for that kid. Should have just been Norris ball out of bounds. Gusky will be at the line shooting a pair. That gives uh, Gusky 10 points on the night. It's been a hard 10 points, too. Nothing has come easy for him. Well, Dominic, uh, not even a Band-Aid on his head. That I saw, anyway. See a Band-Aid on him? Dominic, a Band-Aid on his head? Come on. Well, me either. Gusky with another free throw. He's got 11 tonight, 11 points. Steal. Can't be in a bad pass, was able to save it. Libor, Eli Belmore's shot is no good. Lars, oh, Stengel with a good rebound, took it right away from Winter, but then in his uh, haste to get it over to uh, Campion, threw a little too hard. One of those nights, Chris. There's a walk not called. There's another walk not called. And then they call a foul on a good block. Stengel picks up the foul. 
We'll let them walk down there, but you will not foul them when they get there. You no, know, it seems to think he didn't get them. I don't know. And I thought Tom was done. No time to get your seniors out. <laughs> Dominic uh, back in for a Noah. Noah got a tough break. He got a rebound down here. Gonna fall down there. Sixty-four to thirty-nine. Gusky off the pass. Looked good. Wouldn't go in, however. Under two and a half left in the game. Pure uh, content to work work clock here. Winter couldn't get it. <laughs> Larson with the rebound. Oh, nice pass by Gusky. Larson inside to Mon. His shot is off the rim, no good. Put back is up and good by Larson. Campion with a steal. Newhouse with good anticipation knocked that pass away. Danny Campion, another shot that looked good but couldn't get it in. Larson, power move to the basket is no good by uh, Dominic Mann. And timeout by DePierre. We're going to get uh, some more subs in. Colin Driscoll, one of those kids. He hasn't played yet tonight. Jordan Beyer, number 40, will be coming in. One twenty-four left in the game. DePierre 64, North 41. This will be our uh, final basketball game of uh, the season. Uh, we've had a heck of a time. There you see Richard Bartson up on top. We'd get Kerry Kautzer, but uh, I don't know that he wants to be on TV. North is going to finish with a 20 and 5 record, Chris, so I didn't see that coming after watching them play early in the year. TV8, uh, pardon me, WSCS TV will finish with a 19 and five record. We're pretty happy about that. I think that substitution was just to get the last of the bench off for DePierre. Yeah, good They're move by coach. Yeah, also in the game is Grant Runno. Well, Grant, if you could, could have caught the ball, you'd add a shot. Kowalczyk with another three. They're now 29 of 54. And a steal. And out of bounds. Trying to get some of those guys a shot here. And uh, meanwhile, North has their starting lineup on the floor. <laughs> Getting ready for next year, Chris. <laughs> Want to end on a positive note. Let's kick him in the face when we got him down, these third teamers. I'll tell you, they play good defense, too. Inside to Dominic. Scores two more. Lang almost with a steal. Runno doing a good job of handling the ball. Kowalczyk from the parking lot couldn't get it in. Scramble on the floor. And we'll get on top of him. Full timeout to Pierre. We'll take a short break and be right back. Score is 67 to 43. Stop. Whether it's on the way to school, at school, or online. Bullying has become a non-stop threat to our youth today. Is your child being bullied? The National Runaway Switchboard can help. 
If you're having a hard time, get online or call to chat now. Back at Ashwaubenon High School, and uh, kind of a bummer they're making an announcement that the Pier fans can buy tickets for uh, Saturday's game. That's, they said any, at first they mentioned that any school that wins, so well, that was all right. I think it's a foregone conclusion. Although I remember when I was a bat boy, the manager told me never pack up the bats till the last out is made. Driscoll has it. Runno. Over to a buyer. Shot is no good. Mon on the floor again, gets it over to uh, Lang. And Gusky can't handle the long pass from Campion. Ten seconds left. It's going to be DePere advancing to the sectional final game. And that's the ball game. Chris, uh, let's uh, wrap this one up kind of quick. You know, this is a real bummer north, uh, losing by 24 points. Uh, they had it at 8-8. Eight to eight. The quarter finished 19-8 on 11-point run. Uh, north just never got it going. Well, I just thought that uh, defense of De Pere was just outstanding. Very physical game, and obviously the bigger, stronger team took over. They took Ethan Gusky out of the basketball game, and then in that first half, dominating offensive rebounds and creating extra opportunities. All right, we want to thank you for watching all year. Uh, thank our crew tonight, Kerry Kautzer and Richard Bartson on camera. Scott Mayloff, our director, for my partner, Chris Wright. I'm Mike Martin. We also want to shout out one more time St. Luke's uh, United Methodist Church for their donation tonight. And uh, it's uh, been a real pleasure for us all season doing these games. We hope you enjoy it. And uh, we look forward to seeing you uh, next year when uh, the football season starts. With that, thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for watching all year. Uh, one more time, De Pere advances to the sectional finals with a 67-43 win over North. Thanks a lot for watching, and uh, we'll see you down the road.